Welcome to RPF. In this video, we'll discuss about how to add recording into UiPath Test Automation Suite. So here we are using given when and then framework. I've already created one video in detail how we can use given when and then in detail. I will also include the video link in my description app so that you can easily access it. So I'm not going ahead with this. Probably I will go to the login page and here if I want to record all the steps which is performing or which is executing that's necessary for any automation project. So if we are finding any functional difficulties or any functional defects probably we have to call out this this other defect with the business team or with the development team so if we are finding any functionality defects sometimes that defect is randomly produced so we we don't have any proper steps to produce it generally so if these defects are random produced then recording will help us to record all the steps and add inside the recording <music> So here we have to go to the manage packages and from all packages we will add screen recorder. Now if you can see here screen recorder library is present here. So when we have this pack activity available probably we can just add start recording and when we are adding the recording so this will ask the folder location as well as name of the recording and then once we'll add this activity whenever the test case will execute this will record a complete project and we can see the complete recording at the end of executions and after that once the execution is completed we can stop recording easily so if we want to have a look about recording projects then probably we have to go to the recording and from here we have this recording available and if you can see i will play this recording and this recording will be now if you can see here this has been started execution has been started and complete recording is available so the which is simple enough and we have all the execution report recorded in your path studio so that whenever any defect will arise we can see this recording and predict it accordingly so this is second part so let me play it in vlc now you can see here so this is an execution report so whenever we will run this and we can have all this recordings are available so this is how we can record all of our pod execution steps in your path and this recording is crystal clear so that whenever any defect will arise we can lock a defect inside the system so that's all about this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching